Hi, before I get started today, just wanted to remind you that my online workshop is still available for booking. We're going to be doing a load of painting and sketching and collage and using photos, so it's going to be a lot of fun. The course runs for three weeks, so you'll be able to work at your own pace. And by the end of it, you'll have a really good working structure that will really help your paintings going forward. So if you're interested in that, please check out the link that's in the description to this video below and uh, on with this one. I often get asked in the comments and online how I go about framing my work, particularly with some of the work that I do, which is on paper. Uh, so what I thought I'd do today, just something a little bit different. I have quite a few paintings hanging on the studio walls here, so I thought maybe I'd just have a little wander around the studio, uh, look at some of the paintings that I've got here and just talk about how I've framed them. Some of them are a bit older, some of them are a bit newer, so there's a few different styles going on, but I feel at the moment I've settled on something quite specific, which I'm really enjoying using. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy that. I know it's a little bit different, but uh, let's see what happens. So yeah, let's just have a little wander around the studio and see what I've got. I've got a few different frames from sort of different time periods over the last few years, so they've got some different styles. So you might find it interesting to see the different things I've I've gone through. So it's always a bit of an ongoing uh, experiment, really. I find with framing, you, you kind of have a an idea that something's going to work. You try it for a while, really like it, and then just go off it and try something else. So <laughs> that's happened to me quite a few times. So what I'm hoping is is that what I'm using at the moment is fairly settled, and I do quite like it, and it's quite simple. Um, but I'll show you some of the other things I've been working with over the years. Some of them are a little bit ratty because they've been lying around the studio for a while, but um, let's have a look over here. These are quite early ones. Well, early, they're a few years old. What I've got over here is a couple of works on canvas and they're on fairly deep canvas stretches. They're about uh, 25 centimeters deep. And I'm, at the time I was doing a lot of this work on canvas on these sort of fairly small pieces. It's about um, 30 by 35 centimetres. So I was doing quite a lot of this work on canvas. But I was also doing quite a lot of work um, directly outside on pieces of uh, paper, on large pieces of watercolour paper. And they looked more like this when they were framed up. And obviously that's got glass in front of it. So, but it's a nice simple look. It's just the frame. Um, with a mount and that's kind of it. It just sort of sits there in the frame, very simple. And what I was trying to find was something which was similar. So it had a similar look, it was consistent. The canvases had a consistently similar look to the work on paper. And what the framer and I came up with was this system where this is actually um, a very thick piece of MDF, uh, medium density fiberboard, but a really thick one. And with a, a hole cut out of the middle and it was something that, that the framer had to get done um, a cabinet makers because it was had to be really precise so um, but it worked really well the only problem that I found with it was that um, on this size it was great these are like I say it's about 30 by 35 centimeters or so great works really well looks really nice it's really smart but any bigger than this, if I was working on paintings that are any bigger than this, they just start to get really heavy because it's this massive bit of uh, MDF, thick MDF. So they did get a bit heavy, so I don't usually um, use those anymore. But uh, it's a nice look and uh, a bit different and also unique, which I quite liked about it um, because it was something that the framer was making, you know, we'd sort of developed it together. It was a really nice to have something which was you know, like no one else was using. Oh yeah, so there's one over here, which is uh, unfortunately a little bit grubby, but um, it's quite a good example of, of what I was talking about. When I moved on from those ones that I was just talking about, I wanted to find something which was a little bit lighter. So I was using this, which is another piece of framing molding. And then there's a second um, ash, very simple ash frame around the outside of that. And again, the uh, the painting on canvas just sits in the frame like in a box. So it gets nice and simple and it's got this nice beveled edge on it, which I thought was quite nice. And it looked uh, very simple. It's a lot lighter, simple, but it's basically two frames. That's the problem with this one. It's the same with the other one, it's two frames. So even though it looks quite nice, it's quite simple, it's quite work intensive and I'm building two frames or the frame is making two frames. So it's quite expensive. 
so yeah, I mean, I did that for probably a couple of years when I was working like this. And uh, yeah, really nice, but again, not something I'm using at the moment. So moving on from that one, and actually this is what I'm using right now for canvases, for deeper canvases. And this is just a very simple molding. And again, it's more of a square section of molding, but uh, it's got this beveled edge on it, which looks quite nice. And this is again, a deep canvas, although there's, um, it's canvas mounted on board this one. So um, it's got a nice, which, which is a, a good surface to work on because it's got that nice solid um, firm surface to paint on, but it's also got the canvas texture, which is quite lovely. But framing wise, this is really simple. Uh, maybe it's really obvious to use something like this, but I was trying to get away from that really kind of um, the thing that everybody uses, which is you know, like a kind of box frame, like a square box frame. So this is um, a bit like that, but it's also, because it's got this bevel, I think it looks quite nice. I think it's quite simple pretty effective and on a small piece like this I think it works quite well but I was also using this on my larger uh, canvases for a while as well. Here's another one using the same molding as the previous one I just showed you. Um, it's uh, again it's on canvas it's about 90 centimeters square this this painting and I think this works quite well for this size of canvas. Uh, I think it's proportionately looks really nice it's quite simple got that beveled edge kind of draws your eye into the painting works pretty well the thing with these was I was doing these originally when I first started using this molding and for some reason I decided that um, dark frames would be a really good idea so I painted them all this kind of really dark uh, blue black and I thought they looked stunning I had a whole exhibition it's the white peak dark peak exhibition that um, I got a book for and as an exhibition, when they're all hanging on the wall in the gallery, I thought they looked absolutely brilliant, all hanging together, the dark frames, it was really kind of striking, really exciting. Individually, I didn't think it worked quite so well. I thought, as a group of paintings hanging together, I thought the dark frames worked really well. But individually, I just thought it made them made the paintings look a bit dark, a bit gloomy. So. I've taken any frames that are left from, from that exhibition, I've, I'm basically repainting them to this sort of uh, off-white. Uh, it's not white, it's a kind of off-white, which uh, is nice and soft, simple, fresh, and I think it works pretty well now. And I think with larger pieces, something like this, this is a four foot square canvas that I'm working on at the moment. You might have seen me, I'm faffing around with this, it'll get there one day. <laughs> but it's on quite a deep stretcher. And I don't think, I mean, for me personally, I don't really feel that pieces of work this, this big really need a frame, but some galleries insist on it and people do like to have the work framed and that's fair enough. So if I'm framing something like that, I'd use something really simple, just like a simple tray frame. So, you know, like a squared profile or a thinner to the front and slightly deeper profile frame for that one, because I haven't got one handy to show you, unfortunately. But um, I think for something that size, I think it just needs to be really simple. It, even, it can even be quite thin to the front so that the frame almost becomes part of the, the edge of the painting almost and just sort of contains it and tidies it up a bit. But I, when one, I think the bigger they are, the less framing they need. As you know, I do quite a lot of work on paper and if I ever frame any of those um, for exhibition, I, I think in general framing is better the simpler it is, the better it is. I think just keep it really simple. So I'm using on this one, this is just one of my small collages and it's the same molding as the last two that I showed you, the small canvas and the larger canvas. And it's exactly the same molding. So I think that's really nice if you're having an exhibition to have a consistent framing system is really good because you know, people aren't being distracted by all different frames and you know, that kind of stuff. So I think it's really good to be consistent. So this is just really simple, same molding. This has got glass on and it's got a piece of quite deep mount board. I think really standard mount board can look a bit thin and cheap. So I like to use this, this thick mount board. I think it just creates this little box for the painting to sit in. I'm oh, sorry, I know there's a bit of reflections of the light on it, but uh, hopefully you can get the idea. Yeah, it just creates this little box 
for the painting to sit in. And it's just really smart and simple. And like I say, it's consistent with the other paintings that I'm doing. So, and lastly, if I'm working on board, I'm gonna use exactly the same molding. Again, exactly the same framing molding. This time with just a piece of backing board instead of the glass and the mount. And the board, the painting on board is just attached directly onto that board. And so those three types of painting, the deep work on canvas, the work on paper and the work on board has all got this really consistent look across an exhibition. And I think that could be really important to have that consistency. Yeah, so that was it really. I hope you found that interesting. It's just a few of the different things uh, that I've been going through with my uh, frames over the years. Um, you know, some of them, you know, they do work quite well. And I did like those deep um, boxes, the MDF boxes that I was talking at the beginning. But like I said, it was just, they were just a bit too heavy and, um, and fiddly and expensive. So again, like I was saying, simpler the better with framing that's always the answer you know use good quality materials but keep it really simple anyway that's it for now i hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you on the next one